Check this out. This is in the off position here. Try and open the door. Nothing. I click this to the on position here. Now, the car unlocks and the car locks. Move it to the off position again and the key no longer works. Pretty cool. Hey YouTube, how's it going? Felix here. So you may have seen on my channel in the past, I've posted some videos about keyless car theft uh, and what you can do to help protect your car from keyless car theft. You may have seen I've made some videos where I showed off different Faraday cages, some Faraday cage boxes and some Faraday cage pouches, which you can put your car keys in to stop the signal, the radio signal uh, from being intercepted while it's being transmitted from your car key to the car. Um, so I've got some of those videos and a company recently reached out to me, a company called Kibu, and uh, they said, we've got a cool new product which you might be interested in taking a look at, uh, which helps sort of streamline and make the process of using a Faraday cage for your car keys much simpler and easier. And here it is, I've got the product right here. It's a super, super simple product that basically allows you to have a switch here on the front of this little box, uh, which allows you to effectively turn off and turn on the ability for your car key signal to be blocked. It's a pretty ingenious little product. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick look at the product, show you around it, show you how it works and how you put it together, and then uh, show you it working on my car. And as you saw in the previous clip, it works. It works just fine. It's actually pretty cool. So let's go. Okay, so here's how to put together the car key signal blocker from Kibu. It's a, it's actually a really, really simple device. It's super, super simple to put together. It's uh, no big deal at all. The, uh, the device comes in two halves. So you have the top half here, which has the on-off switch, which allows you to sort of tr control whether the car key signal is on or off. You have the bottom half of the case here. Uh, it comes with this nice lanyard here, which is actually quite nice, high quality lanyard with a real piece of leather here. Sort of nice. Um, you get, well, this is my car key, which I'm going to be using for my Hyundai Elantra. You also get the little instruction manual. You get this little piece here, which is used to sort of tease apart this edge. Um, it press fits together. So this sort of presses together like this. And then if you want to separate them, you just use that, that little tool there in the, in the little crack in between the two pieces to uh, separate it. And you also get this silicon rubber cover as well. So uh, yeah, it's actually really simple. You just use this little Velcro strap here, lift that up like this. You're then gonna place your car key, sorry, it's a little bit tricky to do with one hand, but you place your car key inside and you secure it with the Velcro strap, nice and tight. You put the, the top half on like that, and that's it. You close it up and you're done. There you go, your key boo is ready to go, and that is it. Um, and there you go, you're completely completely done. You can put the silicon case on on top like this. It would just go over the top. You'd uh, you know, feed this through the hole there in the middle and uh, the silicon case goes on and then it's nice and protected and you're good to go. Okay, let's try it outside. Okay, so here we are. We're back outside with the Kibu. I've actually installed it here into its little silicon case. It looks really, really nice. It's got a nice, nice hand feel. Uh, as you can see, we're currently in the off position here, so I shouldn't be able to communicate with the car. Let's come over here and try and open the trunk. As you can see, the trunk does not open. Let's switch it into the on position, like that. And now, there we go, trunk releases just fine. Again, let's try it one more time, off, nothing, on, it works. I mean, it really is as simple as that. It's a pretty amazing product. Honestly, I don't know how they've managed to make this work from a, uh, from a radio frequency blocking perspective, how they've managed to get this switch to work. It's sort of magic, um, but it does work just fine. I'm honestly really, really impressed. I think one of the concerns you might be having right now is the size. I mean, given the nature of this product, that it, you have to have a, a box to put your key inside, um, it is a little bit bulky, but it's actually not that bad. As you can see, the sort of width here and the size. I'll just try it in my pocket here so you can see what it looks like. I mean, in my pocket there, you can definitely notice a little bit, but it does sort of fit into the pocket quite well and disappears, mostly because of the nice rounded edges they've done here. Um, it's not so bad. So yeah, that, that is a, that, it's honestly quite an amazing little product. The only other concern I think you might have is by putting your car key into the box here, of course you do lose access to the buttons on the car key itself, so you won't be able to use the, you know, like the panic button or maybe the, the um, unlock trunk button or any of those other buttons which you have on your key. Um, 
The truth is, do many of us actually use those buttons at all these days? I don't think so. I tend to just leave my key in my pocket and very, very, very rarely do I actually use those buttons on the key itself. Mostly, I just walk up to the car, just like I did here, and press the button to open the boot, open the trunk, just like that. So yeah, I don't think losing those buttons is actually such a big deal. Um, yeah, and that, yeah, it really, really works quite well, this product overall. I'm very impressed. Um, my The final concern I might have is just to make sure that your car key can fit inside the Kibu. Obviously, there is a maximum size of car key that can fit in here. Um, I'm sure they have the measurements on their product page. Just make sure your car key fits inside the Kibu. Um, they've designed it, it looks like, to fit the vast majority of car keys, but there may be a chance that your car key won't fit. So I definitely check that before ordering. Okay, so that wraps up my look at the Kibu key box. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed by this product. I think it's genuinely quite useful. If you live in an area which has high rates of keyless car theft and keyless car crime, and you're looking for a really nice way to streamline the protection of your car keys, I genuinely think this might be it. It's, it's a very, very effective device. It does exactly what it's marketed to do. It's super, super simple. There's really nothing to it. It's just a switch and, uh, and it works. It works really, really well. Um, and works 100% of the time. I think if you are in the market for like keyless uh, car protection Faraday pouches and you're looking for something just a little bit nicer than a Faraday pouch, something which is a bit more robust, a bit more uh, streamlined and simple to use, this could really, really be the product for you. Um, I'll have all the links in the description, description if you're after one of these. And uh, yeah, just make sure your car key is going to fit inside this box. Just make sure the measurements are good. And then after that, you should be good to go. It's simple as this. Just turn it on and your car works. Easy as that. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. Okay. If you're interested in more automotive videos like this, things about automotive security, uh, keyless car theft, other topics like that, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. I'm always producing new car content, but until then, catch you later. Cheers.